I have to get out of my bed to work eight hours, eight, nine, 10, 12 hours, which I do right now. And then I have to. Uh, and still- you will continue to do. <laughs> parts of me have to die to give you life. There are things in my body that will never be the same after bearing children for you. And you're telling me the least, at the very least, you don't want to take care of me? Nah. Joseph Beach, welcome to the Coffee Pot. My name is Shishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. The caption of this video reads, Woman snaps on man after he said, what do women bring to the table? Watch full video. We're going to check this out. Let's get it. Man saying, yo. What do you bring to the table? Let me let me have let me have this. Men, y'all probably really just don't know exactly what a woman brings. Hmm. Get your pens and paper. Okay. Let's talk about the purpose of a table. I'm talking to you, Sit love, down. with all the beautiful hair. You said what I need a table right. for? Like- <laughs> Sit down and eat at it, right? You right. you, you right. gather at this right. table. Right. Let's say I'm your woman, hypothetically. Everyone sitting at this table, either one came in me. Or came out of me. We can agree on that? Yeah. Okay. I'm the purpose for even having the table. Everybody at this table is nurtured, cared for, looked after by me. I, If I deem you worthy enough to even extend your legacy, which means give you children, consider that an honor and a privilege. Because parts of me have to die to give you life. There are Ooh. things in my body that will never be the same after bearing children for you. And you're telling me the least, at the very least, you don't want to take care of me? Nah, I can't. All right, cool. It takes, All right. It takes cool. Because without my, you know what I mean? Without, without me, you know what I mean? It could be no family. A family is a family. Like, you know, if you rent renting, you need three times the rent. It, it's a teamwork thing. Because if I lack of, you supposed to be able to, all right, well, here, da 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 this and that. If I'm struggling, all right, if I can't get it, I'm gonna need you to get that. It's nothing wrong with that. Like, so it's something that, wrong not- with that, baby. It's some in order for any family to sustain, there has to be balance. You're talking about this 50-50 stuff as if it really exists. If I have to get out of my bed to work eight hours, eight, nine, ten, twelve hours, which I do right now, and then I have to uh still- and you will continue to do. <laughs> What? Put that coffee down. Come home, and I still have to tend to the children. I have to take care of the home. I have to give you sex. I have to stroke your ego, and I have to restore you from all that you've been through throughout the day. What am I left with for myself? You would never be able to outwork a good woman. You should find a capable woman, but you do not want a working woman. When the chips are down, Yes, baby, I am capable of rolling up my sleeves and doing what we got to do to get back on our feet with the notion that once you are stable, you are going to relieve me of that duty because it is not my job. But if I got to get out of my bed and go work for a man, guess what I'm doing? Guess what I'm doing? I'm, I'm excuse my language, I'm two men because I have to get out of my bed and go go appease one at work do what he tells me to do, follow his orders, get the oh, whatever, whatever. Uh, and then you want me to come home and then appease you? Oh, and then take care of the kids? Oh, then cook and clean? Hey guys, real quick, I need you to do me a favor, man. For those of you who don't know, we serve coffee on Facebook too. Me having multiple platforms where I can release content helps in case, in case I may get too caffeinated one day and say something that the powers I'd be may not like. I can't do it without your help. Hit that link pinned to the top of the comment section and give us a follow if you're on Facebook and would like to make sure you drink coffee on Facebook as well. Appreciate you guys. Oh, then then you want some sex? Oh, my God. You want all that on me for the sake of making it easier on you? If I'm willing to roll back my sleeves and work two jobs, which I'm doing right now, what do you think I'm expect you to do? This chick is working two jobs. She's talking about. Anyways, let's keep listening. You better be willing to work four. You better Come be willing on. to take That's off hard. your shirt. That's hard. If I roll up a sleeve, you better be willing to take off your shirt for me. All right, 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 all right. Listen, 
This video right here is a perfect example of why Kevin Samuels, when he would have conversations with these women, she was, she'd be a perfect candidate for that. That doesn't happen here on the coffee pod. We're not interested in trying to convince modern women that coffee tastes sweet. No, no, right? And I mean, the women who aren't inclined, right? You gotta be inclined, but no, no one's here to argue with you on this side. Now, with that said, God bless Kevin Samuel's legacy and all that he did because he was really trying to help out women like this. This right here explains exactly why, guys, the first thing that Kevin would ask a lot of the women that would come on the show is what type of man do you want? What type of man do you want? Because just that one question from the very beginning will literally dismantle every point this chick made. And I mean every point. From the way she's talking, you would think that she has what she's looking for, but she's not. And like Kevin Samuels would say, you can't make this shit up. <laughs> this coffee smells like shit. <laughs> right? You can't make this shit up. This chick is working two jobs talking about how she's the table. And she would coin herself as the prize. Now, I don't want to go down the discussion of like the prize and the whole table conversation. I don't want to conflate those two things. Let's focus on what she said. She says she's the table because everybody who's at the table has either came in or out of her. What are you talking about? We're just going to skip that crazy statement right there. Because what? Okay, that's, you know what? No, no, no. Let's entertain it. What about if the man who came in isn't at the table and is Pookie, who you have to take the kid that you had with him to every weekend. No, um, I'll have a tea, actually. Oh, now you're ready to drink tea. You don't want to talk. I know. I get it. Let's move on. Next here, she talks about how she nurtures everybody and can't read my own handwriting here. Cares for and cooks for everybody. Basically, she takes care of the home. All right. Now, that's assuming that you don't have the type of man who isn't going to also do that, right? Guys, I told you that all this stuff is relative. No man should expect a woman who works as much as him to do all the cooking work. Now, can she take a majority of the responsibility of the cooking and cleaning? Yeah, I think women are naturally better at things like paying close attention to detail and things like that that make them usually better off in like the cleaning department, right? Of course, there's a lot of messy chicks out here. But in a lot of cases, you know, it could be like a 60, 40 split or 70, 30 split. She probably have more opinions about how to clean something than a man would. But no, she's talking about a situation where she's doing the majority of the cooking and cleaning. And she's if she's accepting that, she's expecting the man to work twice the amount so he can bring enough so she can rest in her femininity at home and cook and clean so she doesn't have to work as much, meaning she's not contributing to a lot of the bills, meaning the household can function on just that man's income alone, meaning according to KS, when he is to share to these women, that would be what he would consider a high value man, a man who you can trust to lead, provide all that, and you just have to stay home. At that point, since there's a small percentage of men who can actually give you that, that man becomes the rare commodity which you all want you're lucky to have him he would be considered a prize to women who um can be picked by such a man but we're not going to talk about prize here what is my point i am trying to prove that the table overall is the relationship what are you willing to bring to this relationship that's what the table really is you are not the table this woman thinks she's the table she's confused and she thinks she's special and she's the table because she can do everything that every woman out here can do which is have a child which is have a child and then she goes well i'm a good woman and i shouldn't have to work two jobs as a good woman who has a man when there are good women who work as their husband works and he doesn't have 
twice the amount of jobs. The guy who you're looking for to work four jobs while you work two is the high value man. Now, you guys know I don't talk about that a lot here. I just talk about relationships in general. But that's the guy who's willing to go out there and compete, who's working four jobs. Think about that. Four jobs. That means he's not going to be home. That means he's um, bringing a significant amount of income. Not all men can or are willing to do that. And when they are doing that, they're competing with other men. And there only can be so many men out here who make up that top percent of high earners. And then she ends the video by talking about how women give up so much when they have children. But she's talking about this from a community where 70 to 80 percent of the children are born out of wedlock to men who they wouldn't want to marry men who they claim to men who they wouldn't want to marry men who they claim are dusties men who they're embarrassed of is crazy guys listen as always we're going to check out some of these comments what did you guys think of what she has to say first comment here says you will never be able to outwork a good woman Oof, come on it's just it's just like the same thing women do in podcasts where they'll speak in tandem with one another they'll make a point and have a woman in the background like ad lib the point make a bunch of sounds to make it seem like she's actually saying something here's another one that says this woman has given the best breakdown i've ever heard no somebody else here says what do women bring to the table i don't know their body sex literally what you use them for anyways like what again if it's free and women are given out for free how valuable is sex here's somebody else that says a good woman will multiply anything you bring to the table somebody else here added only a real man would understand what she said she left him speechless yo man these dudes bro somebody else here says without him there's no family not without me wanting to have a family there is no family somebody else here says they will never understand dot 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 we are the table here's somebody else a gentleman who says she ain't lying she basically said teamwork make a dream work no she didn't say that that is not what she said Somebody else here says, why is this so hard for them to comprehend? Somebody else here says, went over his head. Another person here added, 50-50 is a roommate situation, honey. This economy is not built for all of you to get a man who's going to pay all your bills. This lady has pictures of cats as her profile pic, as she should, because that's all that's coming. That's all there is, and that's all that's coming. That's all there is, that's all that's coming. As Kez would say, buy a dog, die alone. And for people who think it's so mean, I just did a video of women pretty much telling other women, hey, you should go to the animal shelter and stop dating and find yourself a dog. They're a better companion than a man. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. This was an insult. Now it's becoming reality. What is going on? Somebody else here added, and she didn't stutter. Somebody else here says, what do you bring to the table? Home. Somebody else here says they understand, they just don't want to be wrong. Somebody else here says gathered him for breakfast, lunch, and dinner at that table. Now the comment here says no, because she snapped and gave nothing but truth. They hate the truth. The content creator responded. Somebody else here says eight is not the word of what she did. She dismantled. What a load of crap. Guys, comment down below what you think. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.